The landing gear wheels and brakes are made by a company called Grove. They're five inch uh, tires that are run on it. And the, um, the Grove is similar to a Cleveland design. The brake pucks are replaceable, not a lot of work to do it. And the first time I replaced the brake pucks, I talked to the gal to get more brake pucks sent to me, and she said that most people are getting about 100 landings. I was getting about 150 landings, but I was getting pretty low on them. I now change them out probably closer to 100 landings just to back myself up. The, um, they're a smaller diameter wheel, and, and, I, and I weigh pretty heavy, so that I do run through the brakes, and I want to keep ahead of that. The um, airplane originally is a design of 2,000 pound gross weight. I have moved my airplane to 2,200 pound gross weight. Uh, it's a home-built airplane, you can do anything you want. The, in my mind, the limitation before was in the landing gear because of the small tires and small brakes, but now with the bigger tires and bigger brakes, I don't have any problem with the, with the heavier weights. Uh, the tires themselves, um, I see I've got about 350 hours in the airplane and I've replaced them twice now. And right now they're in pretty good shape. So I'm probably getting about, oh, maybe 150 landings, maybe 200 landings out of the air tires and about 125 brake applications per, uh, 125 landings for, as far as using up the brake pads. Currently the airplane has about 350 hours on it and last time I checked I think I have 445 landings on the airplane.